What is up everybody, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Life in the Woods Renaissance Minecraft Mod Pack for your Mac. Here we go! So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your Java is up to date and you need to make sure your library folder is present in your user folder. You will not need Forge for this, so I will not include Forge in this checklist. If you have not done both of those things, updating your Java and making sure your library folder is present in your user folder, don't worry, I have created two videos on how to do just that. So if you haven't done it, make sure to go watch those videos and then come back and watch this one. However, if you have done both of those things, then we can continue. So I received this request from one of my YouTube viewers and to which I promptly replied, I will make note of it. And not only that, not only did he like the tweet, but so did the creator of the mod. So thank you very much for the like. I really hope I do not botch this installation. So the link to the download page is in the description. It should take you to a page that looks something like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm doing, I'm now going to click on direct download launcher global. So I will click on that and it will go right into my downloads folder. All right. Once that is complete, I will now get out of here and I will bring this to the desktop. Now I'm going to unzip this file and I'm going to double click on the folder. As you can see, we have a install.txt, different licenses, licenses.txt, and different folders for different operating systems. Since this is for Mac, I'm going to click on the Mac folder. What I'm going to do now is I'm now going to click on install.command, click open, and right here it says this script will create an app bundle on your desktop. Do you want to proceed? Type Y for yes or N for no and press return, which is the enter key. I will now press Y and I will press enter. Installation finished created bundle on my desktop. You can now move the bundle to any location you like. Press return to exit the shell. I will now press enter again. And the process is complete. Awesome. So now I will get out of this. Now get out of this. And this is it right here on your desktop. This is what it created. So I will now double click on this. And this is what should hopefully open on your desktop. This is what should hopefully open. And again, like the, um, like the console said, you can always move this file right here, which is your launcher. You can move it anywhere. So I am going to drag the other files to the trash because I will not need them. And I am just going to keep this. All right. So now what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to click, where do I begin? Hmm. All right. Config. So that is where it is located. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so looking at where the game directory is, here's how you can actually get to it. So all you have to do is click on the config folder and where it says working directory, click this right here. And this will show you where it is located. And it looks like it is located in my user folder. So I am going to head into here and it should be, it looks like it might be hidden actually. Optional features, as you can see, you can install shaders, which I think is pretty cool. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to install a medium version of shaders, which it will also install Optifine and Dynamic Lights. I think that's actually pretty sweet. Again, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it. And here we go. And now it says right here, if you want to install shaders, it says we need your assistance to install shaders, yada, yada, yada. Click on the download to open the external browser. Don't show this warning again. Okay it will now open up an AdFly page and your download link will appear in the upper right hand corner. Once it says skip ad, click the skip ad button. I can get out of Safari now. Found it, thank you. And now it says, um, okay, great. So we clicked on the download to open it in the external browser. Excellent, all right, cool. Now it says we need Optifine. So I am going to download Optifine. It is going to open the external browser again. Here it is. It will open up an ad because that is Optifine's website for you. Click it again if it opens up an ad, and that should download. Great. Click OK. Now, now you need to download Dynamic Lights. Again, follow the instructions again. This will take you to an AdFly page. Your download link will appear in the upper right-hand corner. Once it says Skip Ad, click that button. Another ad, of course, will open. Just get out of it. Click OK. And now, of course, you need Slitter's Vibrant Shaders Medium, or the shader pack that you want to download. So I'm now going to download that. Jeez, lots and lots of effort for this. Um, the skip ad button will appear in the upper right hand corner. Once that appears, click skip ad. So when you click skip ad, it is going to take you to Mediafire. You want to go just copy this and then it should automatically open to this. So click download. Of course, more ads will appear because that is just how these websites work. Let's get out of that. All right, great. So they have all downloaded. And we need to keep this in our downloads folder <laughs> so we can install. Um, all right, so everything should be in your downloads folder. Your 
shaders, your Silder's Vibrant shaders, your mod core, your Optifine, and your dynamic lights. Those should all be in your downloads folder. So this can do the rest of the installation. Once the installation is complete, then press play. All right, so here it is. It's all here now. So if I go into options and shaders, as you can see, my shader pack is there. So great, that worked. And it says 55 mods installed. This is a huge mod pack, Life in the Woods. I am now going to create a new world and we are going to try it out. All right, so here is the mod. Um, as you can see, Shaders is quite laggy on my Mac, but I figured I'd download it just to show the beauty of it because I know that there are plenty of people watching with computers that are probably faster than mine that might want to have shaders. So I figured it was vital to include that part in my tutorial. But for the sake of my own machine, I'm now going to turn shaders off because <laughs> I don't want to stress it out too much. But here it is. As you can see, it runs pretty well and uh, the mod pack is actually quite beautiful. This isn't, this is pretty, pretty nice. So ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much all there is to it. I'm now going to save and quit. And I'm going to, of course, quit back to the launcher. And another thing that I want to try out is I want to get out of this. And I want to quit out of terminal now. All right, so remember those files that we downloaded to install with the launcher. I am now going to get rid of them to see what happens. I want to see if it will still work. All right, so I've now reopened everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to click play again to see if it actually saved everything. Okay, here we are back in the mod. If I click single player, as you can see, my save is still there. And everything appears to still be working. So yes, it. if you have made it this far and you've done exactly what I've done, then you have done it correctly. So that is all there is to it. All right, so another question that a lot of you may have, how do I access the folder for this launcher? Well, it is a little bit more complicated. So what you're going to have to do is you have to click command shift period, and that will show the hidden files on your Mac. And these, it's not recommended that you mess with these files because of course they are hidden for a reason. However, your file for your mod should look something like this, dot lit WRL. That is the file for your Life in the Woods Renaissance launcher. And this is how you can access your data for your launcher. And that is all there is to it. And then of course, to return it back to normal, all you have to do is do command shift period again, and your finder window looks like normal. All right, everybody, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.